Well, James, welcome to Spennymoor Town. How excited are you about the move? No, I'm buzzing to uh, get it done. Um, I've spoken with Jason for quite a while now, um, for quite a few years actually, and kept in contact with him. But um, speaking to him and seeing what the club's vision is here and how they want to go, uh, I'm actually delighted to be here and really want to kick on next year and look forward to the challenge. Well, that's it. It feels like a really exciting time to be joining Spennymoor because after the momentum, the momentum built at the built at the end of last season, it feels like the club's got this real ambition to really kick on again next year. Yeah, to be honest, I was looking out for Spenny and I wanted them to uh, to do well, especially in the playoffs. We had Dan Langley with us at Gateshead last year, and I was keeping an eye out on him, and I hoped that uh, he could have got in the playoffs and hopefully got the promotion. You know, I really wanted Spenny to do well last year, and got a few friends here and lads who I've knew for a long time in football. Um, so to be part of that now is I'm really looking forward to it, and uh, I, I feel like I came in at a really good time. We're just chatting there. It's going to be a home from home. The amount of players that you know in this dressing room, it's going to you know you're going to be able to settle in straight away, aren't you? I I think there's five or six who are know and speak to um, quite well. I think the North East is quite a close place. Yeah. Um, everyone in football certainly knows each other. Um, plenty of familiar faces. Uh, so like I say, I'm really looking forward to working with them all. And you know how you know how much quality therefore is in this squad and how much we, you know, we, we can have a, an impact on this division next year? Uh, definitely when you look at the lads that they've got. Um, obviously there's some experience in the back, some real quality. Some quality players in midfield and arguably the best strike force in the league. Um, so hopefully I can add to that at the back and hopefully we can have a success, successful season together. <laughs> um, I know you've just met with Jason and, and, and Lewis up there and, and, and chatting you through about the move and, and everything and I can see that they're excited as much as you are. They're, they're thrilled to have you here and that must be music to your ears. No, it is. It's uh, to be wanted by um, Lewis, Jason, Jamie, um, the chairman really, to be wanted by everyone and to be here. It's a really nice feeling and hopefully I can repay that faith that they've sort of shown in me at the minute and hopefully uh, I can give them something to be excited about for next season. And at a juncture of your career where this just feels like the right move I guess? It does I. Um, it feels like it's really going to work well with my life, um, the visions that the, the club have got. Um, obviously the facilities here are brilliant, the pitch is looking unbelievable. Um, so I just want to get on it and start playing and that's it. just looking forward to the challenge. And it is quite a big deal from the Spennymoor perspective. We're bringing in an experienced goalkeeper who, you know, the fans have been crying out for that sort of thing. Who's, you know, you've, you've got experience at this level and, and above as well. Yeah, um, I think I've played make probably about half of my games in the north, um, quite a bit in the, the league above and a few in League Two as well. But I feel like I know the level. Um, experience that and hopefully the experience from playing at the higher levels can help this and that and bring something to the group um, from an experience point of view and hopefully bring a, a little bit of quality as well. For, for people who haven't seen you play and, and there might not be that many because you have been quite high profile in, in terms of you know playing up the road at Gateshead but tell us about what style of goalkeeping we're going to see at the brewery field next year. Uh, hopefully just calm, um, hopefully just someone people can rely on in, in, in big situations and um, I'd say one of my biggest strengths in my game is probably being a leader from the back and, and a good communicator. So hopefully someone who can come in, help organise and be calm when a, a cool head's needed at the back. I know that was one of the things that was chatted about there. That you know we didn't keep enough clean sheets last season. It's possibly you know one of the factors that that cost us just getting over the line at the end of the year. And, and it can be so important, can't it? That you know something to build on that platform from the back. No, definitely. Um, I think when you look at the the teams that have had success over the years in, in this league and the league above, they've always had a, an experienced sort of spine in the team, um, whether that be a centre-half, goalkeepers and people who can lead and help out the younger younger lads. So hopefully we've got a good blend um, here this season coming up and hopefully I can help just bring, like I say, just try and bring that composure to the bar, obviously along with Jamesy, who's ridiculously experienced and such a good player and still playing at this level so that's a credit to him um, so hopefully having two sort of experienced heads at the back and him and myself can can help the team. That's not just on the pitches that we spoke to James Curtis earlier this week and he signed his new deal you know it's it's about you know keeping the standards high in training so that the younger lads can can see what it takes you know. Yeah I think that's the thing that people don't understand is your work's not just done on a Saturday it's it's done from Obviously, Sunday you sort of enjoy life a little bit more, and <laughs> there. But it's the lead up from from Monday, how you look after yourself, especially here. Um, with, with us being part time, it's going to be you're going to have to look after yourself away from the club, um, and you don't get to play at this level and 
have the career that obviously James he's had. He's a perfect example. But if he don't do all them things, so hopefully that if people like him, myself, Glenn, a few a few of the other older lads are leading by example and doing all the other stuff, the young lads buy into it as well. And hopefully, I say hopefully, it just breeds success. And and getting this sorted for yourself so relatively early in the summer, you know, it gives you a little chance to just enjoy a little bit more relaxation before the work starts. It I, guess. Has, I don't really feel like I've switched off to be honest. <laughs> I had, uh, I had a little trip away with my friends to Dublin last week, um, and I was sort of speaking to Jamie quite a bit then about yeah. getting it sorted and speaking to Jason. Um, but I'm going to Croatia with my girlfriend next week, so I'll actually nice. enjoy that, and then I get back three days before pre-season, and then I can uh, really start getting my head down and looking forward to the, the season ahead.